This is the healthiest coffee in the world. It's so full of antioxidants and natural phytonutrients. It reduces the inflammation in the body and fight kidney disease. Okay guys, can't wait to taste it. Let's taste it. Catherine from Double O Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Coffee is a breakfast staple that many of us have been told to avoid. But with the five health hacks of today's video, your morning coffee is going to be not just safe, but also healthy. And don't miss my special latte recipe. This is the healthiest coffee in the world for your kidneys. A question for you guys before we start. Do you drink coffee? Do you think it's healthy or unhealthy? Let's talk about it in comment section. And now, let's see how scientists and researchers are answering this very important question. Is coffee healthy for the kidneys? There has been a long-standing controversy regarding coffee's safety on blood pressure, heart health, and consequently on kidney health. Even doctors sometimes tell their patients to avoid coffee. But are they right? Coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world. So today scientists have tons of data on it. In particular, a recent review of 34 studies on people with high blood pressure, heart problems, and diabetes found out that Drinking coffee in moderation is not just safe for people with high blood pressure or diabetes. It is even beneficial. So, the answer to the question, is coffee healthy for the kidneys? Is a yes with a but. In fact, some people are too sensitive to caffeine, especially those not used to coffee. So, it may raise their blood pressure. So, if you are not used to drinking coffee or you know it raises your blood pressure, don't start now. Also, some people find drinking coffee causes insomnia, anxiety, or heartburn. These problems can be easily solved with five coffee health hacks of today's video. And if you already drink coffee, here's some more good news. According to a deep red meat analysis, people who drink coffee, even those with hypertension, have a 9% decreased risk of hypertension, which is significant. Researchers think that this may be due to the very high content of antioxidants in coffee. In fact, coffee shows more antioxidant activity than green tea and cocoa, two antioxidant superstars. Scientists have identified approximately 1,000 antioxidants in unprocessed coffee beans and hundreds more develop during the roasting process. Numerous studies have cited coffee as a major and, in some cases, the primary dietary source of antioxidants for many people in the world. And if you make it like I'll show you in a minute, your morning coffee will become the best friend of your kidneys. Now guys, there are still valid reasons to believe that coffee may be dangerous. It all lies in how you prepare and how and when you consume your coffee. Here are 5 easy hacks to make sure your coffee is 100% healthy for your kidneys. Number 5. Don't drink coffee after 2 p.m. Coffee is one of the richest natural sources of caffeine, a natural stimulant. And while caffeine may be healthy for you, especially if you use that extra energy for exercising, it can interfere with your sleep. Never underestimate the importance of sleep. Sleeping less than 6 hours per night has been linked to a faster decline in kidney function. And poor sleep in general is associated with all sorts of health problems. But if you only drink coffee during the morning and in moderation, your body will have all the time to get rid of the caffeine before you're going to bed. By the way, it's better not to drink more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day, according to the FDA, which is about 4 or 5 cups of coffee per day. Number 4. Don't drink coffee on an empty stomach. 
Drinking coffee on an empty stomach is an unhealthy habit that can lead to various health risks, like a damaged stomach lining and increased anxiety. Luckily, you can prevent these potential risks by making sure to eat breakfast before enjoying your morning cup of coffee. And also, coffee is a natural diuretic, which is a good thing, but it could lead to dehydration if you're not hydrated enough already. So, drink plenty of water before drinking coffee. Number three, do not load your coffee with sugar. Oh, sugar is probably the main reason why coffee consumption has been associated with health problems. While coffee can help lowering both blood sugar levels and blood pressure, excess sugar consumption is proven to worsen these levels. Also, sugar is very acid-forming and inflammatory, while coffee is slightly alkaline. What to use instead? The safest sweetener is stevia. According to research, it may even have some health benefits for your blood pressure. Number two, choose the right milk and avoid artificial creamers. Artificial creamers are processed foods filled with chemicals and packed with sugar and saturated fats. Definitely not the healthiest thing to put in your coffee, let alone your body. Milk, on the other hand, wouldn't be particularly unhealthy if it wasn't for all that phosphorus. Milk has some nutritional value and it's not as rich in saturated fat as creamer. Unfortunately, it's too rich in phosphorus for people with chronic kidney disease. Even those in stage 3 of CKD should be avoiding it to avoid bone problems. But we have a very healthy alternative. Almond milk! Very low in calories and saturated fats. And most important, one cup of almond milk only contains 284 milligrams of phosphorus, while one cup of cow milk has up to 255 milligrams. Still, be very careful with the almond milk you choose. Some brands enrich their product with phosphorus and many brands add sugar. Also, if you can't stand the taste of almond milk, try rice milk. It's a little bit higher in phosphorus than almond milk, but it has less potassium. Like for almond milk, always double check the label to find a brand without added sugar. Number one. Add some cinnamon to your coffee. Cinnamon is a tasty spice that mixes particularly well with the flavor of coffee. It's surprisingly good. To lower the risk of potential adverse effects, opt for Ceylon cinnamon instead of the more common cassia cinnamon, if possible. Ceylon cinnamon can lower blood glucose levels and help reduce inflammation throughout your body and has been linked to heart health. So basically, we are turning our morning ritual into a kidney health habit. What if we could make it even healthier? Let's see! Here's how to make the healthiest coffee in the world! This is an incredibly healthy recipe. The ingredients have powerful anti-inflammatory properties and are full of antioxidants. It's also a very easy recipe. We need 1 4 teaspoon ground cinnamon. And not just for the taste as we have seen. 1 teaspoon ground turmeric. This is basically the most powerful natural anti-inflammatory on earth. It fights kidney disease because it's heart healthy and it decreases the inflammation in the body. We need 1 4 teaspoon ground ginger, very rich in antioxidants, 1 tablespoon coconut oil, a healthy fat source, great to slow down the absorption of caffeine and avoid so many problems caused by coffee, and 1 pinch of ground black pepper. Black pepper is very useful, it will make the curcumin in turmeric available to the body. Okay, let's combine these ingredients in a cup. Adding hot water very slowly. This is similar to the recipe for golden milk, but we are going to mix it with coffee to make our breakfast super healthy. So, in the meantime, I've brewed a cup of coffee.
and let's add some almond milk. Okay guys, can't wait to taste it. Let's taste. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It tastes like mmm cafe latte. And it's great. I like it. So yes, coffee is not just way less unhealthy than people think. It can actually help boost your kidney health, especially if you prepare it like this. So let me know if you will try this recipe and if you like it. And if you want to see more healthy morning recipes in this video up here, I have something you will absolutely love. And as usual, a new video is coming next Friday, and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.